to you by Puente Latino Association to show you how to make these beautiful flowers for Dia de los Muertos. So let's get started. So first of all, some of the materials that you will need are tissue paper in different colors, you'll need scissors, you'll need a ruler, if you want to put headbands together or pipe cleaners to help attach them, and you also need a stapler. Those will be the materials that you will need and that you will be receiving at this event. So let's get started. For this project, what you'll need and what you will be receiving is tissue paper. What you'll need to do is, as you can see, it's a large sheet of paper. You'll fold it in half and then again in half. What you'll need is your scissors to cut this here. So let's get to cutting. careful you don't cut your hand but you want to carefully cut the paper along the line that you fold it on both sides so as we have another fold here we'll also have to cut that side so you'll cut here you want to make sure you do a neat job and stay on the line so the flower uh, will be nice and symmetrical. Okay, once you have all your sheets of paper cut, as I will show you, in this one I have four sheets of paper. Okay, this will make something simple at, like this. So this is what the end result will be. You'll want to fold this, to get something of that size, you'll want to fold it again and cut along the line. Okay. And don't worry if it's not perfectly aligned, we can cut that off later. What we want to do is make sure that we just have enough paper to create these beautiful flowers. So now that we have our sheets, you'll want to get some, lay them down. You'll want to get something round or, you know, a bowl or something just to cut it in the shape. But I'll use this just to guide me on this sheet of paper. But this one, for example, is seven inches across. Seven and a half, to be honest. Seven and a half in circumference. So all you do is just trace it or just go around it. So I'll show you how this goes. Go around. And you can get the kids involved, which is a really fun activity. Get them the kitty scissors. They don't want to cut themselves. And what you want to do next is, in the center, this is where your stapler comes in handy. You'll want to staple it in the middle. Okay? So, but more or less. Gotta be careful, especially with these bigger flowers. Okay. Like I said, uh, art is always fun. If you make a mistake, it's okay, you just start over. But um, I've stapled my piece there. And what you wanna do too is you wanna put, for these round ones, what you want to do is get your scissors again, and you want to make like little grooves here along the, all around the flower to make the petals easier for you to pinch out into the center. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So I made little cuts all along this paper here. So now what I want to do is I want to bring them up, lift them up and bring them to the center. 
you're going to just kind of pinch it, if you can see what I'm doing. I just want you to pinch it. So that's your first round. And you just keep doing it until all the sheets are used up. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you can see what the end results will be. Okay. And while you're doing something like this, you might want to play some videos or some music. Just to kind of get you in the, in the mood, in the spirit of crafting. And there's no right or wrong, like I said. You know, that's part of the fun. As you pinch it together, in the end, I kind of like to scrunch it a little bit, and then you open it up again. Okay? And as you can see, you have your little flower. Okay? Yours might look a little bit better than mine, but that's okay, everybody's different, we're all original. No two flowers are alike. So uh, that'll be one. And then the fun thing afterwards is that you can use pipe cleaners to attach it to something. So I'm gonna use this pipe cleaner here, and I'm gonna just kind of, I'm gonna staple mine. So, all right. So, and if it gets a little deep fluff, you fluff it back up. Okay. So. That's, it looks okay, but yours might look a little bit better. And then you, if we, once you have your headbands, you can use these to decorate other items. You can use it to decorate a headband, or as you can see here on this um, calavera, we already have the beautiful uh, headband all done up with these smaller ones. But like I said, these are about uh, four inches in circumference. If you want to make them bigger, it's up to you. I mean, you just have fun with it. Um, if you want to make bigger ones, I'll show you this one. This big petal here. It's the same idea, just we use the whole sheet. And with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to fan it out. So, as you can see, this is about six sheets of um, tissue paper. And basically what you're doing is you're making a little fan. We've all made fans in school where we just fold it along all the way through, just make a little fan. The difference with these bigger ones is that in the center, you're gonna wanna cut like a little triangle on both sides. And the little triangle is gonna make it easier for you to bring up the petals. Not a big, not a big, uh, you're not gonna make a big triangle, just a little groove for the ribbon that you're gonna use to go around it, okay? And I'm not gonna try to cut this one off. I can probably leave it. It's gonna hide in the flower. Remember, be careful. Don't cut yourself. This is gonna have. This is gonna be fun, not painful. But I'm gonna leave it there. Pull it out of the way. And as you can see, it's kind of made like a little group here. So I'm just gonna tuck that away. And I'm gonna take my ribbon. In this case, I'm gonna use some colorful ribbon. You can use whatever you have at home, but we'll be providing you with ribbon. And you wanna tie it in the center, cause that way you can tie it and attach it to different items. So give it two little knots. Okay, let me clean my workstation off a little bit. Working like that. So now that you have it tied up in the middle, we'll begin making the, um, the petals of the flower. And basically, it's real simple. You open it up, and you just start pulling the petals, the paper towards the center. It'll be easier if you do it this way. So you just wanna bring it over. Oh, and one thing I wanna mention too, you see these pretty petals? On the edges, what you can do is that you can cut with the scissors, you'll create like little, if you want to make it round, if you want to make it a triangle or kind of like spiky, like this one here is a little spiky, you can make it spiky, you can make it round, however you want to do it. It's all up to you. This is your project. So I'm just making, I'm going to make it a triangle, but you can make it round like the one I have next to me here. Again, be careful. The more sheets of paper you use, the sharper your scissors will have to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna start pulling 
the petals toward the middle. Oops. And you just bring it up. And you do one side and then you do the other. And you want to be gentle because like, if you're too strong like I am, eh, um, you might rip the paper. Remember, this is tissue paper. It's a little delicate. So you want to be a little cautious. As you can see, we keep pulling. And you keep doing this until you have, until you finish the whole sheet. My nails. So be careful. Like I said, you just be careful and pull apart the sheets of paper. And we'll do it again on the other side. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do one side, if you want to do both, or alternate. Um, either way, but it's. I like to do both sides because then you can see how your flower is going to come out. And you keep doing this. And as you can see, the flower is already starting to take its shape. See? See how cool that is? And again, once your, your finished product will be something like this. Now, if you want your flowers to be fluffier, you have to use more paper and just repeat the process. But that's basically it, you guys. You, you can use them again to decorate headbands. You can use them to make a lovely floral arrangement like you have here, something fun that you can put on your altar. You can make these really cool, if you get real creative, you can make these really cool, um, like, you know, claw hangers, and uh, just have fun. This is a really nice time to enjoy with your family, and remember the loved ones that have passed, and that still are in your heart. So, uh, this is brought to you again by Puente Latino Association. Hope you have a wonderful Dia de los Muertos. For more information about Dia de los Muertos, follow our social media. We'll post some information for you. Have a good day.